Hey guys, welcome to How It's Design. And in this very special video series in SolidWorks, I bring you a complete Rolls Royce Phantom. Complete assembly is gonna be super detailed, a highly detailed, long series. We're gonna break down the exterior, the engine, the interior, the suspension, the wheels, everything in this video or the next several videos. It's gonna be, like I said, a lot of videos. I wanna fully break down a car design assembly and nothing better to do it than a luxury vehicle such as the Rolls Royce Phantom. So um, let's just dive into the exterior shell. All right, so we're gonna start with the shell exterior of the Rolls Royce. This is gonna be the final finish. We're gonna go way back in the design tree and start from the beginning with the blueprints. So let's take a look. All right guys, so we're gonna take a first look at our first couple of sketches. We're gonna have our imported sketch picture blueprint of the Rolls Royce on the side plane here. As you can see, we imported the sketch picture we're gonna open up this first sketch, which is going to be some outlines using the picture. So let's do a normal view. We've got some dimensions here. It's not too important for now, but we're gonna start making these splines and curves. Um, which we're gonna use on our curves later in the design tree. But for now, we have some several curves that are gonna outline from the back here. And just follow these top lines above the door frame and over towards the front, just along the overall length of the car. Now, we, once we have those lines, we can use those in our curves that are gonna follow. We're gonna make plane one offset from the front plane to create a plane for the back of the vehicle. So if we look at how we created plane one, it's gonna be offset again from the front plane, about 580, 5,800 millimeters, just so that it's in the relative rear of the car, hit okay. So we have that so far. We're gonna place our front and back views. Again, from Google Images, getting the blueprint of the car and placing it on the front view. If you need to know how to import a sketch picture, I'm gonna be releasing a video soon just on that. So that'll be on our front plane. Got a center line. And our rear view on that plane one we, we created already. Now we have pretty much all of our views set up.
good to go. Notice how they're all within proportion to each other, matching the same height. Now we're gonna start creating the curves for the shell. So now we have our four curves that we're gonna set up using our side view sketch. Once again, that looks something like this. And we're gonna start making our curves. For curve one, we got one sketch on the top plane. using the lines from the side sketch. Using the existing lines. To then create, project the curve using those two sketches. Project curve right here. Same for sketch nine. One on the top. One on the side. So our first curve here, and our second curve, curve nine, it's gonna be a little bit slightly outward from the first one. Using our sketch 10, just a little bit out further from the previous sketch. And sketch seven. We got curve 11. Now 
I don't know if you guys can hear, it's raining pretty hard right here on our side view. And lastly, our curve eight. outermost spline. <laughs> 